This tutorial will demonstrate the Interpolate Lines from Intersecting Features tool found in the MMC Bathymetry Tools Toolbox and 3D Utilities Toolset. The Python script was designed and developed by Gannett Fleming for the MMC Map Production team. This tool will convert polylines to 3D features by interpolating Z values based on an elevation field or 3D geometry from intersecting lines or points. I have a point layer of gauges that is attributed with gauge invert elevations. I want to convert a stream center line to 3D based on the elevations assigned to the intersecting points using this tool. Both of the input layers must have the same coordinate system defined with units in feet. The tool will work off of a selected set of features, so if you want to process the entire feature layer, make sure nothing is selected. In this case, I have two lines in my input features, but there is nothing intersecting this feature, so the tool will not process this line. Also, there needs to be at least two intersecting features along the lines to be interpolated and converted to 3D. If there aren't, the tool will let you know when you run it. If you are using points as the intersecting features, the points you want to be considered in the interpolation must be snapped to the line. So I'll do a quick check and make sure that all the points snap to the line. In this case, four out of four points are selected that they intersect the line. I attributed the features with the gauge datum elevation and that will be the field that I'll use as the z-value that will be used for the interpolation. If this layer were 3D, then I would have the option to use the 3D geometry as the interpolation value. I'll show you an example after this. So I'll input my stream center lines that I want to be interpolated and then I'll input my intersecting points. I'll select the gauge datum elevation field to be used as a z-values that will be used for interpolation. Then I'll enter the output location. If you choose a location as a folder, then it will save the 3D lines as a shapefile, or I'll select a file geodatabase. It automatically populates the same workspace that your input lines are from. Um, and then I need to identify an output 3D feature layer name. So I'll just change this up a bit. Then I'll run the tool. So this is telling me that one of the features will not be interpolated because it does not have at least two intersecting features. So it's referring to this line. The layer is automatically added to the map. And I'll go ahead and select the line and view it as a profile plot. So the line was converted to 3D based on the elevations of the intersecting points. Between the points, the elevations are interpolated. If the line extends beyond the intersecting points, the z-values are linearly extrapolated. So since I have a 3D line based off of gauge invert elevations, um, I next want to take my stream center line, convert it to 3D based on a 3D geometry of intersecting cross-section features. I will run the same tool, however this time I will input a 3D cross-section layer. Just to show you what the cross-sections look like, I will plot one of them. So wherever the stream intersects this 3D cross-section, the z-value from this cross-section geometry will be pulled and the stream center line will be interpolated based on that value. Go ahead and run the tool. So once again, I'll input my stream center line that I want to be interpolated and converted to 3D. I'll input my 3D cross sections. And since they are 3D, 
Now I have the option to choose shape as my Z value. I want the same output location and then I'll, here I'll identify the name again. So I'll run the tool, I get the same error again referring to this line that doesn't have at least two intersecting features. Converted it and automatically added it to my map. So we can plot it. And I'm actually going to plot both of my 3D stream center lines that I created. And I can plot them on top of each other. And just make sure I can select them. So the one that I newly created, that is the 3D line that was interpolated from cross-section geometry and that's plotted along with my 3D line that was converted from gauge invert elevations.